Hi guys, so I gave this um, carrot cake a try for my one year anniversary because it's actually one of the only cakes that my husband likes and I, I'm pretty proud at how it turned out. It was so moist, so delicious and literally was gone in a day um, and I'm just doing a few close up for you guys because I don't know, it just looks literally bored. I'm so proud of myself. Now it all started with my sister rearranging my whole setup because she said it was so messy so there you go guys um, and then I started off with 210 grams of plain flour into a sieve one and a half um, teaspoons I would say of cinnamon then I did half a teaspoon of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder just to give it a nice rise so just want to sieve that all through I find this part really satisfying I don't know why <laughs> Next up, I'm just gonna mix that all up and make sure it's evenly distributed. And here I've grounded up some walnuts to add to the mixture. You wanna make sure it's finely grounded. I use my smoothie maker to do this and just give this a good mix. Now the recipe I use, which is by Cupcake Gemma, of course, will be linked in the info box. Her recipes are so, so good, honestly. Now I'm gonna go into the wet ingredients. I'm using three eggs, well not completely wet, what am I talking about? And then some caster sugar. I used 240 grams of caster sugar, guys. And I'm just gonna use 225 ml of vegetable oil and slowly add that in. Just mixing this well with my electric whisk. Now I did halve the recipe, guys, because I'm not gonna bake a cake for a shop right so <laughs> halving the recipe was also a lot so yeah you can do this too guys we'll make the whole cake if it's for a special occasion so now i added my finely grated uh, carrots quickly mix that in and now i'm adding my uh, flour mixture uh, and i just halved it so that it doesn't go everywhere now the mixture looks quite different to what i've ever worked with but trust the process guys trust the process and i try not to mix it too much with my whisk to like remove all the air and i'm just using my spatula to kind of make sure that it's all evenly distributed because sometimes flour stays at the bottom or some of the mixture stays at the bottom and it should look like something like this so now I'm buttering and flouring my cake pans, which actually didn't work in the end. I usually always do this, but with this mixture, you have to put um, baking paper at the bottom and then it just slips right out. So when I made this the second time, because everyone loved it that much, um, it worked better like that. And I'm just evenly distributing it between the two cake pans. These are eight inch cake pans. And I'm using these things on that side so it's nice and moist on the edges got these from Amazon and I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius now on to the cheese frosting um, I'm gonna use some butter here and it, it was hard to get to room temperature because it's quite cold at the moment but you want to whisk your butter until it looks like something like quite pale and fluffy I would say something like this so as you can see it's not as yellow then I'm gonna use some Philadelphia cream cheese, which is obviously the star of cream cheese frosting. And I'm gonna quickly whisk this, scrape the edges to make sure everything's getting into the mixture. Give it another quick mix. And you don't have to do this for long, to be honest. Now I'm gonna put my bowl on a scale and measure around 500 grams of icing sugar. So I do it in two. So I'm doing 250 here, roughly. And then you wanna mix this on low you're bound to get it everywhere i mean it's just inevitable with icing sugar I'm, i literally feel like i'm breathing the icing sugar right now <laughs> and then um mix it and then do it another um do another 250 grams of it and yeah it just becomes really nice and thick and i'm quite proud of my um cheese frosting because last time i tried to do this it was a major flop on my red velvet cake <laughs> So as you can see my cake didn't come out that well but you know I worked with it still and I'm just putting it on my cake spinning table that I got on Amazon. I'll try and link everything in the info box guys. And I'm going to put some icing in between. Now you just want to be careful especially if you've got like broken pieces like me but the icing sugar helps to keep it like glue it all together. Oh 
I thought I'd keep all the icing sugar footage in here because I don't know about you guys but I find it so satisfying in cake videos um, and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button guys it really helps your girl out and also give this video a thumbs up so more people can see this recipe and try it at home <laughs> so this was a bit of a flop but I got there in the end Ugh. oh my god <laughs> I never said I was a professional, I never said that guys. <laughs> so I'm just pushing it all together and again using the icing to help hold it all together basically. So here I'm just going to do like a sandwich kind of like uh, frosting layer just to lock in all the crumbs. I then put this into the fridge to chill for around 30 minutes and now we can do a full nice layer of the icing and I did a nice thick layer I wanted to I didn't want it to look neat I wanted it to, to look like homemade you know so just rough around the edges kind of thing and I also grounded up some more walnuts and I kind of pushed this onto the edge but yeah you always if I didn't do the crumb coat I would have had crumbs everywhere so it's important to do that first layer with this cake and here I'm just pushing in the walnuts it just added a bit of decorations and my my husband actually loved the edges like with the walnuts it's so weird I never eat the edges of a cake I don't know if anyone else does that I just eat the middle part and leave the edge it's so bad so yeah that's what the cake looks like I had to use this bloody axe to cut my cake there's no knives left in the drawer they're all in a dishwasher but look how beautiful my cake is i was so so pleased honestly considering the fact that it was all broken in some areas um but yeah don't give up if your cake doesn't turn out good in the middle just keep going to the end it actually comes together you know but look how moist it is everyone loved it in the house guys it literally disappeared the next day it was so so yummy definitely uh, recommend you guys trying it out tag me on instagram and yeah i love you guys so much thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye